let us now look at the next toolbar that is the circles toolbar over here I'll get it outside and this has both the options that is the circle option as well as the ellipse option so first let us see the circles option click on the circles tool and now over here in the place circle dialog box you have two methods or sorry three methods to place the circle the first one is center the second one is edge and the third one is diameter let me select the first method that is the center method now over here I'm specifying the center point first and next the radius for the specification of the radius you can enter it over here in your acute draw as well so I'll go over here and enter a radius of 50 enter then left click and we have placed the circle you can draw it randomly in this way center point and the radius Again, I'll select the center option, click over here and next enter the value over here. Instead of specifying it in the acute draw, entering the value in the acute draw, you can also specify the value over here that is radius and diameter. Let me select radius and I'll enter a radius value of 50. Now when I enter a radius value of 50 and hit enter, this circle which you have drawn over here is now of 50 radius again I'll select the center point over here and I'll select the diameter this time as 50 enter now you got the circle over here there's one more method or one more option wherein instead of first selecting the center point we can directly fix the radius or the diameter of the circle and then place it wherever we want for example over here I'll check the diameter option that means now the circles diameter is fixed to 50 I can keep on placing it wherever I want like this any number of instances can be brought from the same tool right click to come out of the command place circle I'm going to specify radius value as 50 enter and now this is checked that means the radius value is logged you can place it wherever you want in this right click to accept it apart from this we have the option of edge that is select the edge method select the first point and the second point over here after selecting the two points wherever you click the third point the circle will be passing through all the three points instead of selecting the center point and radius we are going to specify three points on the circumference of the circle in this way that is the edge method select the first point select the second point and third point will determine the entire circle after the edge method we have the diameter method wherein I'll select this diameter option and I'll click over here this is the first point and the next point you specify is going to specify the caudal length that is the length of the diameter over here select it and click over here Earlier in the center option, we are specifying the center point and the radius. In the diameter option, we are going to specify one end of the circle and its diametrically opposite end in this way. The same options solid and whole, the same options of fill type, none, opaque and outline. Go over here also. I'll select opaque, select a particular color and now draw the circle in this way. This is about the selection of circles. Let us delete everything. Select all, hit delete button. Now, the next one over here is the ellipse option. Select ellipse. And over here also we have two methods, center and edge. Let me go with none option over here as usual. Even this has area and fill type. The first option, center option will require us to first select the center point of the ellipse after which comes the length of half of the major axis after which you need to specify the other radius or the minor axis over here in this way select the center point then one axis over here and the other axis in this direction to draw the ellipse that is the center method the next method is the edge method 
select the edge method and over here I need to select first point second point and then the third point will determine the placement of this ellipse in this way wherever you click for the third point it determines the major and minor axis of the ellipse in this way that is the ellipse option now after having seen all the circles and lines option let us now firstly delete everything and then go for this figure over here now in order to draw this figure I'll start off over here I'm selecting the line option and starting off from this point and going in this direction of 5.5 .5, vertically 2 click over here and in this direction I need to move a distance of 5.5 .5 units 5.5 .5, enter and left click after that right now you, you cannot see the line because it is too small just place your cursor near the line and zoom in over there and you can see the line over here let me change the attributes by level okay now select the smart line select it over here 5.5 .5, enter and left click then vertically on the top we have a distance of 2 units specify the distance over here to enter and left click then next from here to here when you're moving you have two options either you can stop this line over here itself you can continue from here in this way let us do that right click from here I'm going to start again four units vertically then 4.25 horizontally vertically 4 enter left click then in this direction 4.25 enter and left click then you can join both of this this is one method or else I'll go with undo and I'll start over here <coughs> and specify the x and y coordinates of this point now when you're specifying the x and y coordinates of this point you need to specify those coordinates with respect to this point that is what is the x variation from here to here and y variation from here to here you need not worry about the signs that is actually when you're moving from here to here the x direction will become negative but over here in your acu draw you need not enter the negative sign because you will be already specifying the direction using your mouse that is the reason you need not enter the signs of your dimensions over here i need actually i would have to enter minus x comma plus y right since i'm going to the left and to the topwards direction so first let us find out the x value total distance is 5.5 .5 and this distance is 4.25 that means 5.5 .5 minus 4.25 which is 1.25 is the distance from here to here in the x direction horizontally so I'll specify this direction and you can see the acute draw the x value has automatically turned negative when I go in this direction x value and y value both are negative minus 3 and minus 2 if I go in this quadrant that is this side I'll be having x value positive y value negative so you need not enter the signs automatically the signs will be taken depending upon the direction given by the cursor okay so over here I'll enter the value of x which is 1.25 enter and next comes the value of y which is totally this distance is 4 minus this distance 2 units so 4 minus 2 that's 2 and now specify this direction over here 2 enter and left click in this way you have drawn that line next proceed as usual from here to here 4.25 and 4 you can directly join this as well which is 4 units now we have drawn this portion now for the placement of this circle this circle is of dia 1 horizontal distance of 1 and vertical distance of 2.5 from this point so what you can do right now is I can select the circles option over here and the diameter has been given as 1 so over here I'll select the diameter option enter the diameter as 1 shift plus home 
now type in one enter check this that means you have logged the diameter of the circle next over here you need to specify the x and y distances right now wherever i click i'll be getting the circle over here so I'll select this option center select this and diameter is fixed at one now wherever you click you will be getting the circle but i need to enter the circle at a distance of these two values from this point so what you can do is over here i'll draw this line from here to here that is x1 y 2.5 in this direction x value is 1 y value is 2.5 enter and left click in this way you have drawn this line select the circle option and this diameter one has been placed over here in this way next for this again you need to enter the value of 3 and 1.5 this time what I can do is instead of starting the drawing of the line over here drawing this line because this line again you will have to delete it it is only used for the placement of the center point of the circle I need not draw this line instead I'll go with right click and now I'll select the circle option and over here the diameter is 1 select the diameter and fix it at 1 we have fixed it and next you need to enter the x and y value x value is 3 y value is 1.5 I'll enter the x value as 3 y value as 1.5 enter and haven't specified the direction correctly I need to specify the direction in this way over here uncheck this and you will specify the direction over here enter the value y 1.5 enter left click those dimensions have been taken from this point from this point to here x value was this distance 3 and y value is 1.5 again I can select the circle option the diameter this time for the second circle is 2 select 2 over here place it at the center in this way select this delete it. the dimensioning we will see in the next session